All right, hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to talk you through a really, really, really simple strategy you can use to help train your breathing control. And this can be particularly valuable for people who find themselves up on steep, steep ascents, getting quite huffed and puffed. Or people who sort of find that when they're trying to keep up with quicker hikers that they really struggle to keep their breath. Or people who just never thought of their breathing on the trail and think, you know, this may be an interesting area to explore. Because the way we breathe, obviously it's a response to how difficult certain things are and how much we're pushing ourselves in our exercise, in our training, in our hiking, whatever it may be. But there are certain things we can do beyond just getting fitter and improving our capabilities so we don't have to breathe so hard. There are certain things we can do to actually teach the body to be a little bit more controlled with our breathing, to be a little more intentional with our breathing, to be a little bit more comfortable with our breathing in certain situations. And today I want to talk you through a really, really simple thing. This can be a simple drill you can just throw into a normal workout. And you can just do like five minutes of this as a finisher or as a warm up, whatever it may be. Or you could literally do a whole workout of this if you felt like it. So, to keep things really, 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 really simple, all you need to do for this particular drill is find yourself a step. So, a step, a box, a couch, whatever it may be, something you can go stepping up, stepping down, stepping up, stepping down. And essentially, you could do this on a full set of stairs if you prefer, um, or literally just use a little box. And if you are using a box, don't use something that's too, too big. But I would typically say something that's no taller than three quarters of the way up your shin. And then all you're going to do is you're going to choose some type of exercise, it doesn't matter what, which gets you huffed and puffed. And you can do a minute of that. So this could be something like mountain climbers where you're on like hands and toes and you're like you're simulating like running on the floor. If That's not a great description. If you haven't done a mountain climb before, I'm sure you have, but go into Google, uh, YouTube and just type it in mountain climber exercise, or it might be skipping, or it might be doing some jumps, or it might be just doing an interval on a bike or, or whatever. Literally, it doesn't matter. Just something that'll get you quite huffed and puffed. Do that for a minute. So rep, 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 until you're like, oh my gosh, my breathing is pretty quick. And then immediately after that minute, what I want you to do is start doing step ups on that box, on that step, or going up and down that set of stairs. And you're going to do those step ups for four minutes. And during those four minutes, your plan and your intention is to be constantly moving, but you want to bring your breathing down to nose breathing or a steady state breathing where you're comfortable with your breathing as quickly as you can. And then once you bring it down, you just want to maintain that for the next four minutes for the rest of the remainder of the interval. So what that may look like, to give you an example, is maybe let's say we chose mountain climbers. You did a minute of mountain climbers, went really, really quick, got yourself quite huffed and puffed. And then as that breathing's really, really quick, you step on these step ups and you start stepping up and stepping down. And for the first minute, you're really, really concentrating on bringing the breathing down, but it's still pretty quick. You're still struggling, but it's slowly, bit by bit, by bit, by bit, by bit, getting a little bit less. And after that first minute, you're feeling you're pretty controlled and you can actually breathe through your nose again. And then you just maintain that for the next, what did I say, one minute. So another three minutes after that of maintaining that nose breathing nice and steady. And then you hop off. If you're going to do it again, have about a minute rest, a complete rest, and do exactly the same thing. And essentially the idea behind this drill is, number one, it can be just a nice way of just getting exposure to a few different types of cardio and just fitting in some stepping and all of that, which is great. But that pure act of getting really, really quick with your breathing and practicing bringing it down, practicing intentionally getting under control while you are moving. And it's not you just standing there huffing and puffing and bringing the breathing down, but you are literally stepping and stepping, stepping while breathing, bringing the breathing down. That in itself is really, really, really effective. So essentially what you can do is as you get better at this, as you practice this, as you drill this, and as you improve this, when you're on the trail, if you're going up a steep section of a hill and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting really, really, really huffed, but I don't want to stop. I want to keep on going. Then you'll be like, boom, I've got this steep, super steep section done. I've still got to climb up, but actually I can control my pace. I control my breathing, get myself a little bit more comfortable and continue on. Or alternatively, you may, may come across this on a steep ascent where you get really huffed and puffed and, and like through the climb and just pushing through, pushing, pushing through the climb. You're like, oh my gosh, I got to the top. But just happens all, all my hiking friends, the hiking group, they all got their way quicker. They've been waiting for me. And the second I get to the top, they go again. So I don't get time to rest. I've got to move 
while controlling my breathing. So essentially, if you practice this, that situation is much more comfortable. So this can be really, really handy, this type of drill. And it doesn't have to be, you can literally do anything, any type of cardio, which would just do the same thing. A minute of quick breathing, getting yourself pretty out of breath, and then actively moving, actively challenging yourself while you bring the breathing down. Very, very simple, but very, very effective. So as I sort of said before, you can do this really anywhere in your workouts. If you're doing a strength workout, you could do this in the last like five minutes. You could just do one set of this at the end of each strength workout. Or you could do a whole workout of this and, you know, you could do one minute of quick, four minutes of steady, one minute rest, and then do that four or five times. That'd be a pretty good workout in all honesty, if a bit repetitive, but that would be pretty effective. Or you could do this at the start of your cardio workouts. If you're going to go do a load of pack walk, you could just bang this out five minutes before you start walking or whatever. Just dose it into the week. And if you can do a few weeks of this and practice this, and then as you get fitter and as you get stronger, get that breathing even quicker in that quick interval and then try to get it down quicker or get it down slower, quicker, if that makes sense. <laughs> as you can push yourself and control your breathing a little bit more, it'll get better and better and better and it'll, you, it will show on the trail. So strongly recommend you give that a go. If you do struggle with your breathing a bit, if you just do struggle with your control, it can go a long, long way. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can try it out and I hope it can make a bit of a difference for a lot of hikers out there. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.